Hello, my name is Grant, and for the next few minutes, we are going to have a quick look at the user interface for ShareKnowledge 4.3 in this Learner Perspective Quick Start video. The Learner Landing page is my view of required trainings in any optional coursework that I've opted into. ShareKnowledge is a role-based learning management system, so this view is unique to me. In this landing page view, I can see required courses and trainings in the order that they are due to be completed. Since optional trainings and coursework have no due date, they are shown under the No Due Date heading at the bottom of the page. From this view, you can see the following. The type of course, whether it's required, recommended, or optional, also known as open in the Share Knowledge application. The date the course was assigned and who assigned the course. How much progress I've made, for example, if I had started the course and not completed the work. The date and time I started the course. And if applicable, I can see any enrollment status. The various icons represent the various types of learning objects that make up the assigned coursework. The blue computer icon is an e-learning or SCORM compliant piece of coursework. The lime green book icon, what we call a material, and this could be a PowerPoint, a PDF, video, or Word document. The orange speaker at the podium represents an instructor-led training or a virtual instructor-led training using a web meeting tool, also known as a time date event, since it occurs at a scheduled date and time. The forest green icon is a compound course, and this could contain any number of, or combination of coursework, e-learning, videos, Word documents, or instructor-led time date events. At the very bottom of the page is the subscribe button. This refers to a calendar subscription that will make your training schedule available in your Microsoft Outlook calendar view. From the My Learning Schedule view, you can click the By Type arrow and see the same information but arranged by the type of rule the class was assigned, whether or not it was assigned as required, recommended, or optional. From here, I can click the schedule arrow and I'm back at the original view of my training arranged by due date. Now I can click the by status arrow and see all of my trainings arranged by their status, whether or not I'm enrolled, in progress, or have not started the course or training. Completed coursework moves to my transcript view the day after I've completed the course. As I move down the menu on the left side of the page, another learner view is the learning catalog view. This is where I can look for any optional or recommended coursework. The learning catalog view is composed of our organization's user-defined categories. I can search the entire catalog or just a select category by clicking the category only box just to the right of the search bar. If I want to narrow my search, I can deselect the various icons, required, recommended, or open. I can do the same and deselect the various course type by deselecting an icon or two, for example. If I just want to see what type of trainings are, are available, I can deselect the e-learning, material, and compound icons to give me a view of the optional or recommended trainings that are available for me. Moving down our menu on the left and clicking on the transcript view link, this view shows me a transcript of all of my learning activity by course ID, course name, description, date completed, and any applicable grade or score. Clicking on the My Certificates menu link allows me to download and print any earned certificates. Clicking on the My Calendar view provides an interactive calendar of my training and coursework. There is a day, week, and month view. I can simply click on my preferred view. I also have the same functionality we saw earlier in the Learning Catalog view, where I can deselect by coursework type to filter what I see on the calendar. Moving further down the column on the left, the Learning History link shows a complete historical view of all of my completed coursework. I can filter by date range and keywords in the search filter. If I want to see my certificates earned, I click on the certificates arrow and I will see just my completed coursework that includes a certificate. Clicking on the category arrow shows my learning history from the learning catalog category perspective. By clicking on a category, I can see completed courses that fall into a given category. I can also see the specific coursework type by deselecting the various icons for e-learning, material, training, etc. Well, that's about it for navigating the Share Knowledge Learning Management System from the learner's point of view. I hope this quick video gets everyone on the team up to speed in a hurry. Thanks for watching.